Today, we talk about... What's your favorite sport? Football, by far. So, Bengals? Yeah. Yeah, same. Like, Rez, I don't really care. Uh, I'm just kind of over bait. Like, I'll still fall. I just, I can't commit to, I uh, kind of like with, we're talking comedy, like, once I get into something, I have to go, like, full speed, and I just can't commit to, even if I watch 100 of the 162 baseball games a year, I don't have time for that. That's so much time, especially to watch a bad product. So I still follow the Reds. I still look That's at the all I school, yeah. but I'm not going to sit there and watch right. That's a three-hour baseball game I'm a Niners a fan. Bengals, Super Bowl, hey, mm-hmm. young toys, yeah. <laughs> but, um, he just went idiot. <laughs> just before he the show. He has no idea. <laughs> but, <laughs> the drive. Yeah. Um, the, uh, the, I'm, a, I'm a Niners fan, I'm a Lakers fan. Both were doing horrendous this year. Uh, both got major injuries to LeBron and um, LeBron didn't get major injuries. Garoppolo. They just sat him. They were just he like, injured his groin. No, they shut him At down. At the end, they shut him down. But he injured yeah. his groin. That's why he was out for a good chunk anyway. That's when they started losing. He got injured during that yeah, Warriors game. The, okay. But anyway, my point is like, I just stopped watching because I was like, why am I dedicating my entire Sunday yeah. to this product that I'm not enjoying? Like, it just didn't make I, any I, sense. I watched you know? the Bengals when they win five, five games a year. Yeah, yeah I won't so miss a Bengals game. I won't miss a Bengals game in years. Different story, yeah. No, I, I get yeah. that. <laughs> I'm just saying, I would not. I, dude, I've watched so many more Bengals games than I watch Niners games. Just because, like I, I said, I, it's entertaining I make watching him. I think you'll come. Yeah. Like, yeah, we go well, to bars. Phoebe's yeah. is entertaining to be at, but. Uh, well, no, you can come out. I love Bengals. Like, yeah, because I, I have uh, They play the fight song and everything after every touchdown. Yeah. Doesn't happen too often. They play the Marvin Lewis pump song where it starts with Welcome to the Jungle. Oh, yeah. And Marvin's and, involved? No, it, it's actually a good speech by Marvin in his first year. And he's like, a lot of you people think you don't, well, why you're not starting? It's because you give up on plays, you miss tackles, you don't give 100%, get out there and be a fucking pro! Oh, and yeah, because of the... <laughs> that's from, uh, <laughs> well, that was from Hard Knocks, and they're on Hard Knocks. Yeah, one yeah. Time. yeah, dude, so it's it gets everybody hyped. Yeah. And yeah, I make I make all my friends watch Mangle Games. Oh, I'm, I'm a huge fan. It's we'll have to, to get together if, if you're still here in the fall. Yeah, dude. Yeah, because uh, in Long, so I'm in Long Island City. Yeah, but I own that town. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I mean, I can get the TVs like the Bengal games like anywhere, like anywhere. Yeah, cool. We get yeah, it. Man, Everyone has an NFL ticket. Jeez. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, I know all the bartenders that were. I mean, I've been there for seven years. I mean, most sports bar, if you go and ask them to put on a game, they'll put. Yeah, them. but I know the bartenders. I'm like, put the music on. <laughs> See, I'm not a big I'm, uh, I'm not a big watch games at a bar person. Do you not drink? Yeah, I drink. I just I I like. I love watching games at the bar because football. You have like there's so many games going on. Yeah. So you can look around. Yeah. And everybody just likes is, to watch the Steelers fans get mad too. Well, that's well, also yeah. an <laughs> But yeah, I don't uh, I don't know. I guess I'm very. I like to be cuted. One thing that'll bother me is like sometimes we'll have multiple. I gotta have the volume on. Um, sometimes bars will try, especially if it's a big game, they'll try to play music during the commercials, and then it'll bleed 45 seconds into the game. I'm just... You're like, wait, wait, wait. rewind that. What's that? Yeah, the, exactly. The like, I, commercial? You know, I want to be, I wanna be on so I want to hear what yeah. Joe Buck's soothing yeah. voice yeah. just said. Yeah. So, I'm... Uh, Are you a big Joe Buck fan? I like Joe Buck a lot. I yeah. like Joe Buck. Yeah. I like that voice. It's a soothing yeah. voice. He's, I don't like Joe Buck. Yeah, everyone I know otherwise. I don't hates hate him, Joe though. Buck. I'm not like, like, people hate him. People I don't hate, hate him. him. Yeah. No, I think people he's like great. Him. Yeah. <laughs> so. my, my least favorite announcers or pre game guys are the guys on uh, NBC Sunday night. Rodney Harrison, who can't get over the fact that he uh, yeah. let the Patriots <laughs> lose. And then uh, Tony Dungy, who can't get over the fact that his kid killed himself. Did that happen? <laughs> Yeah, oh, really? his that. oldest son killed himself. I, I did not know that. That's and so then bad. the white guy, who's just awkward too with him. Uh, uh, was Dan Patrick? It's Mike. Dan Tarico Patrick. Now. Oh, Mike. Oh, it's Mike Tarico now. Yeah, last okay. year was Mike Tarico. Yeah. Anyway, it's a weird. <laughs> Dude, because Tony Jungy, like, just his eyes are dead. <laughs> and then Ronnie Harrison just hates everybody because he's like, you know what I did? <laughs> he literally came out in a statement. He was like, uh, God must have been on the giant side. Because I played that defense perfectly. I mean, like, he well, did. Well, he yeah, did. but I'm like, well, he caught it, so... And think about it. It's a player that you don't even hear about. I know, but Tyree, I'm, I'm, like, I'm, I'm saying he did not play it perfectly if he caught the ball. You can argue as much as you want. Actually, it's funny because the year before that Super Bowl, I because I'm from Albany, mm-hmm. so the Giants... I was in a high school football camp, and the Giants had a practice at UAlbany, right by us. And they are like, we're going to have like a... Uh, a pro athlete come talk to like the the team because it was like the entire capital region. Oh right, right. And um, 
it was what's his face the Tyree Tyree yeah. before he caught the pass. So everybody's like, who? The, we were like, oh my god, it might be Eli. I guess Kurt Warner was on the team. We're like, who is it? And it's this David Tyree guy. He just comes up. He's like, don't do drugs. Uh, so all right, bye. And we were like, who the hell? Yeah, and no like, one. The next year he caught the touchdown. That's why. My buddies were like, wait, what the hell? Is that guy? See, he was a team player, man. He was getting yeah. all out there. Don't do. Dude, he got cut the next year. Yeah, he was. He I wasn't. Mean, he was. That was good. it. That was it. Yeah. Hey, at least he squeezed the book deal out of it. So. Yeah, man. How annoyed yeah. do you think his in-laws are? What? <laughs> is this <laughs> a bit? No, that is a bit. Because he's probably every time he's like, "Hey, it's David Tyree. Uh, remember?" And they're like, "Yeah, we don't." Oh, care. how annoyed are the in-laws? Yeah. You just did you not just did you not just say how annoying are his in-laws? You think? I thought you said how annoyed do you think his in-laws are? Oh, is that what I said. okay? I didn't hear that. I think. Yeah, get on that Ohio. <clears throat> yeah, right. bandwagon. Sure. Anyway, uh, riveting. <laughs> <laughs>